Marc Chagall's dreamlike double portrait with wine glass depicts the artist and his first wife, Bella Rosenfeld, soaring high above the Belarusian city of Vityabsk. It was completed in the first winter of the Russian Revolution, yet it is an image of personal joy rising above turbulent times. The oil painting is almost life-size, measuring 91.7 by 53.5 inches. It is in the permanent collection of the Pompidou Center in Paris. Chagall and Bella were an unlikely couple. He was the son of a clerk, while she came from a wealthy family of jewelers. But they were dedicated to each other, and this work alludes to their boundless relationship. I suddenly felt like we were taking off, Bella recalled. We flew over fields of flowers, shuttered houses, roofs, yards, churches. Chagall first used the theme of floating lovers in Birthday, which pictured the couple at home, following their wedding in 1915. In this work, Chagall places them against the backdrop of their hometown. He brings a gentle cubism to the landmarks of Vityabsk, such as its domed cathedral and bridge. Even a solitary boatman is marked out in brief geometric lines. The twisted perspective of the two faces hints at the nascent surrealist movement. However, Chagall also draws on his love of Russian folk art, which is represented in the revelry of the airborne figures. The glass held high can be seen as a toast to the changing times, or perhaps simply to the lovers themselves. The angel blessing the couple from above alludes to Chagall's Jewish faith. His colorful tapestry of the personal, whimsical and spiritual led one critic to describe his style as Hebrew jazz in paint. In 1923, Chagall and Bella left Vityabsk for France. They spent the rest of their life together in exile, first in Paris and, during the Second World War, in New York. Bella died in 1943, but Chagall continued to think of her as his eternal muse. He wrote in his memoirs, She seemed to float above my canvases, guiding my art. <laughs>